Twitter is, is honestly is not that big of a company. Uh, but it punches greatly above its weight in our industry, right? It is sort of a media darling. It's kind of a bullhorn, megaphone distribution platform for people on my end of the camera or in the newspaper business, celebrities, et cetera. Is this story getting too much attention? Well, in terms of its position as a digital advertising play, absolutely. Because if you look in the past three years, uh, Snap added $3 billion of sales and Twitter added two. And really, it's been a very poor performing business. And in that similar time frame, Facebook added over $50 billion of digital ad sales. So it does get a lot of attention. But one thing that probably was missed out in the U.S., but over the weekend, uh, Europe passed the Digital Services Act, which basically says anything that is illegal offline is now should be illegal online. And one of the things, Brian, you and I talked about a, a few weeks ago was this notion of, of content moderation on Twitter, which doesn't happen that as much as it should. And a lot of the type of behavior that you see, uh, the sort of mob rule on Twitter, is simply, in Europe at least, going to be against yeah. the law. They have underinvested in that content moderation, uh, which I think many of you journalists, unfortunately, are on, on the wrong side of quite often. Well, it depends, right? Some would argue that the content moderation is heavier on one side than the other. People are talking about new platforms, et cetera. But does this deal, let's get back to the stock, because we could argue that point all day, Richard. Does this deal have any implications for the digital ad businesses of, of Amazon, for Google, which, to your point, are exponentially larger yeah. than Twitter? Yes, it, and it does. I think there's two simple implications, or three, actually. One is there's $44 billion of equity value in Twitter, which is going to go somewhere else. And that could be into other social media names like Snap or Pinterest or Facebook uh, as that as they revive their business. It could go into Google. It could go into smaller ad tech players. Second, uh, you have the staff at Twitter who are likely to, having cashed out their options on this sort of a deal, be picked apart by all of the rivals who, as we know, are aggressively hiring sales and engineering talent. And the third implication is that, you know, Twitter is not the number one platform for any advertiser. So this just opens up the, the budgets to go to newer platforms that can become interesting competitors yeah. like TikTok, Reddit, and others. I want to move to earnings in a second, but I, we just got a tweet from Michael Novogratz. Of course, he's a billionaire. He's really a crypto entrepreneur, among other things, a private equity and venture capital guy in a previous life. Says so the hysteria, and I'm reading my computer. Apologies, Richard. The hysteria around Elon Musk buying Twitter is unsettling. While his style may not be for everybody, he usually does what he says he's going to do. Give him a chance to remove the bots. And this is a big point, right? People don't realize if you're not on Twitter that so many of these accounts are fake. They kind of look real sometimes, but they're bots. They can amplify voices. Does the entire, and it's not just Twitter, does the entire tech world need sort of a cleansing of, of these artificial, you know, manipulators, for lack of a better term, that do impact things? Uh, 100% it does. And again, if you compare what Twitter is spending on content moderation, it's a drop yeah. in the ocean compared to the tens of thousands of people, the 30,000 people, I think, last count are working on this at Facebook or Meta, sorry, or the, the, the tremendous engineering talent devoted to this at Google. And there is just no escaping. If you want to get rid of all the bots, it's going to cost a lot of money. And if you want to open source the yeah. algorithm, it's basically going to be a free-for-all for all of the malicious actors that have been gaming that algorithm.